if we think that the Christian nonviolence is a strategy to make the world less violent, we are going to be solely disappointed with nonviolence. Because the story of Jesus is actually the exact opposite. When you act nonviolently, all is it does all it does is make the world act more violently. So the, the call of the Christian life is not to make the world more Christian. It's to call the world the world and for us to live like mm, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus' own witness is that when you live his way, the world will want to kill you. Mm, mm-hmm. And so that's, yeah. the, that's, that's, the, that's the first thing that I'd say. So like all, all this to say, I mean, this is why Jesus literally says, pick up your cross and follow me. Like, what did we think that this meant for our lives? Mm-hmm. Like, like, that's what this means for us. And if like, if that, <laughs> if that uh, bums you out about the Christian life, like, I'm sorry you didn't, like whoever led you to Jesus didn't quote the Bible to you. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry to be the one that has to break this to you in your ears as you're yelling at me in your car. Um, the second thing I'd say is um, two things. So I guess I'm saying three things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this math is not adding up. No. <laughs> the first is to this day, when you ask people the, the, the thing that is the greatest witness to Christian love, they will say some version of Martin Luther King, right? They will say the enduring um, source of uh, nonviolent enemy love that was witnessed to in the uh, the civil rights movement um, is the thing that makes God make the most sense in this world. And like that, another incredible book called A Stone's Hope, it's all about how the civil rights movement was not uh, a philosophical movement by like progressive Western ideals, but it was a movement of the prophetic black church. Like it is one of the best books. Like that, that was a Holy spirit movement of God. However, one, uh, one of the failures of the civil rights movement was to convince the world that if you acted nonviolently, that it would work mm-hmm. in a short period of time. Because the way that the early church spread was through the martyrs of the church. Uh, like, I, like I mentioned earlier, that up until the fourth century, which was a guy named Augustine, and right after the church wedded with the state, um, that there was a, every, every instance that we have of the early church fathers is that they did not take up arms against their oppressors. That they only submitted to violence. And two wild things happened, but it took four centuries. The first one is that Christianity grew at a rate that has been unprecedented, where it went from a minority subsect of a small religion called Judaism to the most um, impactful, important religious experience and way of life in the early Roman Empire. Like there is no explanation of of that other other than the fact that they acted nonviolently and they submitted to that and it became the most impressed and they loved the poor and they cared for like, there's like a whole thing that you could do there. Like anyway, the other thing that happened is as they did that, the institutions of death and destruction inside of the Roman empire, particularly that of the Roman Colosseum became less logical because as the people became more like Christ, the version of human sacrifice given in the Roman Colosseum began to have less of an internal logic to the point where it actually became um, politically disadvantageous for the, Earth, for, the Rome, for, for the Romans to continue on with the practice of the Roman Colosseum. So it stopped because of Christian nonviolent witness. But that didn't happen overnight. That happened over multiple centuries because Christians believed that the person that held vengeance was God, not them. That they simply had to follow God. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So that is, that is a hard pill to swallow. I get it. But I, I think that's the most honest witness of Scripture. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you can stay tuned for all of our content.